Hi everyone, my name is Matthias Palmer. I am a PGY2 here at Mayo Clinic, and I'm originally from Tacoma, Washington. I'd like to welcome all of you to Mayo Clinic, and it's our privilege to get to know each and every one of you on your interview day. I know this year is going to be somewhat challenging because, again, we're doing our interviews virtually, and it can be hard to get to know the people and the place over the computer. And so this year, we decided to make a video with all of our residents to try and talk a little bit about what life is like here at Mayo Clinic. So over the course of the next short while, you'll get the opportunity to hear from a lot of our amazing residents about their time here and what makes Mayo Clinic special. Wish you all the best with your interviews and good luck with the residency applications. What I like about Rochester is that it's a college town feel, but with a young professional vibe. It's small enough that you can live in the city at a reasonable price. And also, I walk to work both ways. Rochester's super easy to live in as a resident, which is really convenient. We have loads of parks here, uh, a ton of trails. Our residency made a soccer team that does pick up soccer outside at some soccer fields during the summer and an indoor soccer team in the winter and I really enjoy that. I think there's a lot of options for food, drink, and activities to do with your friends, and so many opportunities to just spend time outside. Um, in the summer, I run on their trails, and in the winter, those running trails turn into cross-country skiing paths. So living here in Rochester is a lot of fun. You know, people think of Rochester as a small, smaller city, and it is, but it still has everything I need from my, you know, good old Domino's, Chick-fil-A, but also having the local hometown favorites that I get to experiment and explore with. So I feel like it has a good mix of food and it's all affordable. In Rochester, everyone is so accepting, warm and generous, and it's just a very wonderful environment to kind of be in. I have a six-month-old puppy now, and I can take him lots of places. Rochester is very pet-friendly, so there are many restaurants that I can bring him to. Rochester has really surprised me. I think, you know, coming to a smaller town, you'd expect a lot less in terms of food, variety, and things like that, but actually fairly decent variety of activities and, and things to do here. There are so many recurring events. There's Thursdays downtown where they block off an area of downtown and have so many local restaurants and vendors and entertainment coming and it's so lively and so fun. Rochester feels big, but it's so small. There are so many things to do here, you know, but you can get from point A to point B pretty much all the time in like 15 minutes. Yeah, so Mayo Clinic, I think, is is just the best mix of, you know, that collegiality and also unparalleled resources and expertise, but still people being so humble, so friendly, so welcoming, and it really just makes you feel like a part of, of something bigger than yourself. Growing up in Minnesota, I remember thinking of Mayo as this, like, hallowed ground. I wrote my fourth grade state essay on the Mayo Brothers. Uh, so being here for me is entirely surreal. I think the cop-out but most true answer has to be the people. Our attendings are incredibly nice and are ridiculously intelligent. Um, our allied health staff is very caring and tries to get the right things done for their patient. And the ease with which you are able to have what you'd need to happen to a patient happen makes working here sublime. I mean, everyone is just so kind and down to earth and willing to teach you. And there's no sense of condescensions, even from the world-class people who are like making these guidelines. I really enjoy how supportive the residency program is. And I really enjoy that we get both a combination of really bread and butter medicine cases, but also some really interesting and complex cases from other hospitals as well. I find it both just very educational, but also challenging and a lot of opportunities for learning and growth. I think one of the most uh, profound aspects of working here is, is, is being able to interact with world-class leaders in every field that you would come into contact here in the, in the residency. There's no dumb question. They're always excited to educate you about their chosen field of interest and they are really excited to have you around. My favorite aspects are how we all genuinely come together to meet the needs of the patient. The motto of the needs of the patient come first, 100%, I feel like just 
penetrates every single thing that we do from like the interdisciplinary collaboration with different um, fields to, I mean, just the volunteers who greet the patients at the front door. I feel like providing patient care here is phenomenal. You have so many resources and everyone's just really happy to work here. Um, everyone has been really fantastic to work with, really easy to reach out to. And it's been just, I feel like my career has grown Im immensely and, and, and my ability to do what I want to do is essentially unlimited. It's been fantastic. The people, the people are wonderful. Uh, everyone is so collegial and supportive and the culture is very positive and encourages a great work environment. By far the people, whether it's patients that I'm taking care of, co-residents, a program leadership, um, everybody's really encouraging um, and is really, I can tell, focused on getting all of us residents to where we want to be in our careers. I think something that's really awesome about our program is that everyone that you work with is working to elevate you. Our program really takes into account and considers your health and well-being so that you can focus on your training, your learning, and your patient care. I never feel like I'm alone and by myself, even though the residency is quite large. I would definitely want to emphasize just how supportive the program is. It really just feels like a big family. The administration is incredibly supportive of their trainees and really receptive to feedback. And the co-residents are outstanding. The program does a great job of curating a wonderful class of co-residents every year, and it really does feel like family. So the internal medicine program, it switches between inpatient and outpatient months every four weeks. So every four weeks, you're pretty much guaranteed to get those four weekends off. Knowing that you're in the hospital for a month, but then also knowing you're going to be in clinic for a month and you're going to have that, that time to relax and, and decompress um, in the outpatient setting. Uh, I think that's, that's really important. We have an amazing support staff. We don't only see zebras. I was worried that if I came here, I wouldn't know how to care for pneumonia and diabetes and COPD exacerbations. Uh, and I think I'm pretty decent at dealing with all of that now. One of the things that people can sometimes think is, oh, Mayo Clinic, we're just taking care of people with these weird conditions that we have, we're have. we not seeing other places, that's why they come to the clinic. But I think something I've really learned over the past few months is that we also have a really good connection with our community, whether it's through our continuity clinic um, or different volunteer experiences that we have with um, various clinics throughout the city. We really get to meet the people of Rochester and take care of them as well. While we do care for a local population, we do occasionally have patients where you're seeing them in a clinic and you're their fourth opinion. And experiencing that as a resident uh, has some weight to it. I think one of my favorite things about training at Mayo is not only the exposure that we get, but the level of involvement and ownership that we residents assume when rotating on subspecialty services. Um, learning how to think like a specialist really offers you the tools to provide the most care for your patient and the best care for your patient. Um, when you're on nephrology, you write the dialysis orders. When you're in infectious disease clinic, you guide the workup for the fever of unknown origin for patients who've flown here to, to get their cases diagnosed. The gem of our program, I think, is our second year, where you're past your intern year, you know how the hospital works, you know how to get things done and get your patient to a CT scan and how to order everything you want. Uh, but having had that experience, you're kind of dropped into the deep end of a bunch of medical subspecialties in a very supportive way, but uh, you're working specifically with a bunch of consultants across different specialties, and your role largely on that team is to be a hospitalist while staffing with a gastroenterologist or a pulmonologist or a hematologist. And you get to be pretty independent in your general medical practice. So you kind of get this perfect balance between autonomy as well as support really across all rotations here in the residency. You have lots of chances to sort of flex your muscles as a second and third year resident, but you're never more than a call away from a fellow or a consultant should something come up that you feel more than you know, a little uncomfortable with. There's a focus on making us the best doctors we can be. And... So there are so many things that I, I think make Mayo stand out. 
I really do think that Mayo has that mix of unparalleled resources, not only as a big institution, but really investing in the residents. I have not come across a residency program that really invests this much, whether it's in terms of research funding and conference presentation, or even just mentorship. This program, you really can do whatever you want. I mean, one of my favorite things about Mayo is that there's so many resources and those resources translate into this residency. I mean, you can literally do any study, you can work with top notch uh, within different fields, but yet it's all very manageable. The way that the program is structured is to where you can accomplish a lot in residency, but also learn so much throughout the process. One of the massive strengths of our program is that you are able to be someone outside of the hospital. Uh, while I do strongly identify as a physician, I am also a husband and a son and a father and I think that I'm able to be good at those things while I'm here.